Okay, let's dump this out. Oh boy. I've got my linens spread out here. This is what I have. And oh, I'm sweating. The reason that I was even inspired to do this today was because I'm thinking about dyeing our shower curtain and I have a couple pillowcases that have either gotten caught in the dryer and gotten little black marks on them or scrapes or stains or whatever. And I figured I would test them out on these pillowcases first, but I needed to know which ones were not usable. So I found a full set for guests. I have two pillowcases, a flat sheet and a fitted sheet and they're all the same color. One, no, two, no, one king sized pillowcase with scratchies on it and then two standard size pillowcases with little marks and I figured I'm going for like a dark brown color for the curtain in our for the shower curtain and I figured I would try them out on white and see how long I needed to soak it in order to get the kind of saturation that I'm looking for. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'll be in soon. So I just got off the phone with uh, Michaels. They have a brand of fabric dye that I was looking for uh, in a dark brown. So things are happening as far as this project. Sometimes I'll decide on things and then I'll put it off for kind of a long time, but hopefully I'll get this project done relatively soon, possibly throughout the video. And I'm gonna go get ready so that I can go see David's Wine Hats in action. If you guys have not heard anything about this, check out my Instagram as well as uh, down below, I'll link the website. But my husband makes um, natural wine hats and they're really rad. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. Um, he has all of them right now, otherwise I would style it myself. But um, gonna go get ready and then we will see <laughs> the progression of the dyeing project. Oh, your girl has put some makeup on. Clip out, 80s hair, check. I'm very excited because I've gotten all ready and I haven't told David that we're going to Michael's yet, but I'm sure he will be just fine with a small outing. Oh, it's very zoomed in. Okay, I'm currently looking up how to use this fabric dye. I'm hoping that it will have like a quantity amount on their website. Okay, I don't need a how to, I need a how much. FAQ, perhaps? Frequently asked, we love that section. Can we just talk about this makeup for a moment? I just quickly did my everyday natural makeup that I got from Shopgood in San Diego and holy moly, the glow, the glow. I'm very pleased. This is my everyday makeup and it's completely natural, y'all. You can do it. I just need a dark brown. St. Patrick's Day, I'm back. <clears throat> I've read the instructions. So what it says is a general guideline is one liquid bottle dyes two pounds of dry fabric. So I think I just need to weigh <laughs> my shower curtain, hang on. I just am not digging it with the gold hooks and that's what I prefer the look of anyway. So I'm gonna see how it goes. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna just weigh the fabric really quick and then we'll see how much dye I need. Just under two pounds. All right, so that's cool, but I should probably get two anyway because I'm gonna dye some other fabric as an example. Okay, we found it. Here it is. Wow, they have a ton of colors and they're $5 each. They have dark brown, and then they have a dark brown for synthetic. What are we looking for? Dark brown, that's what we're going for. They also have a charcoal gray. No, no, no. Let's go with this one. 
Just to make matters worse, David is sitting in the car waiting for me, so I don't get to like look at any other fun colors, but there's a lot here. Wow. Oh, I gotta get this B-roll. Turn down the jazz. Said no one ever. I'm sitting here eating razzles. Obviously they have tons of snacks at Michael's. So look what we got. Some dark brown all-purpose dye. I think this is exactly what we need and I'm really excited. No expectations. <laughs> We're gonna see how long to soak it. It says anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay. Oh, he jamming. We just got done at the Rosette in North Park. David's hats look amazing on the shelf, obviously. We're headed back home so that I can dye this shower curtain. I have my tub right there. I also have some really great supplies. Laser thermometer. I also have some gloves, my dye the salt, and then a measuring cup because it says a whole cup of salt should go in this tub. All right, let's check out where we're at. We are going to definitely need some hot water from the kettle. Roughly half a bottle. Let's put these puppies in here. Ooh, ooh. I like this, okay. Here we go, Set one in. I wonder if I should add some more dye. All right, keep it there, fill up the water, bingo bango. I was looking up different uh, methods of dyeing this fabric and one of the options was using um, the washing machine, but you know what? This is totally fine and it's also a way easier cleanup. So it's getting dark. I don't know if I'll have time to show you guys the actual curtain that I'm doing here, but this is the prototype, so they're two just plain pillowcases, so I'll show you them when those are done. It is so obviously nighttime now. Um, but I have let this soak for like an hour. <laughs> it kept getting darker and I kept loving the color and I was like, well, let's see where this goes. So the water is cool now and basically I'm gonna bring it out and see what it looks like. Okay, let's dump this out. I have gone back and forth from wanting to dye it this dark brown color that I purchased yesterday back to just wanting to keep it as is and then I decided I wanted to bleach it but I've not made any decision yet because since then I've gone back to wanting to dye it brown. <laughs> Welcome to my life! <laughs> what that means is I'm gonna get another hot water bath going, uh, stick the, the rest of the writ dye into that bath and then possibly only spend about 15 minutes soaking the shower curtain. We're gonna see what color ends up at that stage and then if I wanna keep soaking it, I can, but you know, I just don't think it's gonna bleach evenly. So that's the plan. I'm gonna reconvene once I've actually done all of those things. So the next clip you see will hopefully be perhaps a finished shower curtain. Okay, it is a handful of days later, but I thought I would show you how the shower curtain ended up. 
I'm really pleased with it. It does need a steaming or like just four more showers because that basically would even out all of the wrinkles. Now you can pretty much see the variation in you know, the parts that took the dye. The parts that were totally white um, stayed lighter here. And it actually, I kind of like that it's almost kind of a purple with my new window situation. With the kind of style of this bathroom now, I feel like it does kind of go. So, you know, I wouldn't have purchased it in a store, but I'm really happy with the final result. And if you're looking for a good uh, DIY, this is a great project. If you end up using this dye or trying something on your own, uh, do let me know. Follow me on Instagram and message me there because I would love to see what you guys end up doing. But until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.